<laughs> I was thinking oh, to go over to someone's so house. Mm -hmm. What, honey? <laughs> <laughs> How's the life of an artist, Chris? It's okay. Getting better. Things are getting better. Tell Finally. us about your artwork here. Uh, well, it's that model right there. Um, the one with the crinkly like hair, wearing all the black. And my teacher, he invited me to come down to a drawing session and said that I'll be able to submit the art um, for a gallery called the Nikki Manlove Project. Her last name is Manlove. So anyway, I just did an oil painting and I just submitted it. And if it sells, which I hope it does, 50% goes towards the scholarship. Uh, this is Chris Stevens right here, local Detroit artist, graduate of College Creative Studies. Uh, yes, sir. Let's see here. You know, I, uh, I have uh, preferences. Um, and, you know, I like the harmony and I like the warm and cool colors that makes it pop. I think, I, I'm assuming those are polar bears going at it. But, uh, me personally, I've always been one more for technical skill. Since I'm into comic books and, uh, you know, Michelangelo and all the masters and stuff like that, that just really show skill. You know, like it doesn't have to be photographic. You know, I like a little bit of a, because if you, if you make a carbon copy, you might as well just take a picture of it. So I do like some kind of artistic interpretation, but I prefer more technical skills. Like, uh, like stuff like this. I could never do anything like that. I don't have the patience for it, but this is all craft. Clay, baking it, this, this, I love it. It's, it's precision and just everything. I like this too because it's not all under rendered. It doesn't look like college work. But it looks like a lot of graphic designer around here. Hey, how you doing? You good? Good to see you. You too. Again, you know, stuff like this. Um, again, nothing that I would ever think of, but. <laughs> but, you know, again. Technical skill, yeah. but yeah, this is this stuff is pretty sweet. I'm betting this is also the illustration department too. This looks like some con concept art right here. Um, that's that's a digital painting. I'm pretty sure that's pretty sweet. Oh, here here we go. Here we go. This this stuff right here. This stuff has never ceased to amaze me. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. There's nothing not to like about that. I mean, I, I, that looks kind of w weird at the front right there, but I mean, as far as just the skill that goes behind this. So, too, check this one out Iron Hide. <laughs> Iron Hide. be stop lubricating the man. These are pretty good, actually. Wow. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Particular uh, Sculpey this day. I think, F. I think Gerald <laughs> likes to work in Sculpey. I wonder if he still does it. I know he had characters. But yeah, the rest of this stuff, to be honest. I like this one. Uh, great face and then just the, the, the very graphic, just the simplification. You know, there's no lines or anything in here to sort of indicate what's going on, but because of the just the shape of it, and the shape of it, does it make you horny? The shape of it, you know, you can just kind of your 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 brain can connect the dots to where. Um, that's another medium I like to work with. Um, this is what is pastel, that? Pastel on cans and paper. That's what that is. This is really well done. This is really well done. That's excellent. This was done by this my teacher, um, Chuck Gillies. Um, 
He's a great guy, great artist. He helped me out through a lot of stuff um, years ago, but uh, Chuck, um, he's, he's got the best kind of technical skill, very Norman Rockwell-ish. I mean, as far as representation, it's the best one in here, uh, flat out. Um, and all his artwork is like that. Bacon it. This, this, I love it. It's, 